All right, this video covers parallel 1602 LCD configuration. In case you don't have the I squared Z module, you can configure it in parallel. Okay, let's create new project. I'll select my MCU. I'm using H750, VBT6. I will give my project name here. I'll call it H750 Parallel 1602 and click Finish. This is my MC here. I will set my clock to crystal. I'll choose the HSE. Here I will set my my system clock to run at 400 megahertz. Now I will set all the pins I'm going to use as output. I will shoot from PB0 to PB5. I will set them as output, all the pins. I choose the right LCD for parallel configuration. These are the pins I connected V0 to the ground via 3 ohms resistors. I don't have potentiometer and I connected A to 5 volt. I will save to generate my code. So here I will create this the header file here. I will include the main the main dot h. And I will define the functions I'm going to use. Please, these are very function here it is lcd send data please correct it in your code
All right, I will create the source file. Here I will copy and paste the code we have written already because it is large code. So you can go through it. This code here, I will explain a little bit. Here I include the whole header file to use the whole library. Then we define the port, the pins LCD we connect to. Then the, the other, the following function is for delay in microseconds. We are going to use in LCD enable pause. LCD pause is used to large data to the LCD. 4 bits is used to send 4 bits to the LCD. Send command, send command like turn on cursor and so on and so forth. Send data is used to send the characters we are going to display. Then we initialize the LCD using this LCD in it. Then send string the data we are going to display. Then send cursor the quiz row we are going to send the current the data then clear the lcd with that function all right in this in our main c we include the the lcd header file here we will first of all initialize the lcd Then we will set the cursor to the first, the first row and the first column. And now we will send the, the, the data, the string we are going to display on the first row. We will display hello H750. Then we set the cursor on the, the, the second row, which is row one, and the, the first column. Then we will display, we will display high top view tech. So we will build our code. Successful. So now I will debug my, my code. Double click. So once I hit the resume button here, our code should display all this on our screen. Okay, the code is working as expected. It's working fine. All right, hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. 
Thank you for watching. Bye.